What's going on guys? Hunter here with Goodman Lawn Care. Hope you're having a great day. I want to hop in here before the video starts and let you know about a discount code you can use on HIPAA's website for 10% off. And the code is GLC10. You can get 10% off of your order from HIPAA on anything on their website that sell weed eater string, chainsaw chains. I'm actually using one of their chainsaw chains in this video. Really, really good product. I hadn't had to sharpen it for about a month and a half now. I've been using it on hedges. Uh, cut some firewood up with it a little bit here and there. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff with it. It holds a really, really good sharp edge, and it's a really, really good product. So check it out down below in the website, HIPAA. Use code GLC10 for 10% off for your order, and hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we got a rough one here. A lot of overgrown hedges in here this yard got rained out today for mowing and uh had about a couple hedge jobs i needed to get done this is one of them this is probably the worst hedge job hedge trimming job we've done in quite some time uh we got a four-man crew today we're going to try to knock this thing out pretty quick and uh show you what we got we got a lot of sweet gum trees growing right up in this thing it's gonna have to be cut out we got a real real pretty hydrangea back there uh we're gonna trim it up where you can see it got a lot of lower pedalums got vines everything growing in through here just a lot of cleanup needs to be done got vines up on the house a lot of stuff gotta be cleaned up rose bushes and uh just hadn't been maintained in a while so we're about to get it back in shape and then we're gonna maintain it once a month from there on out after we get it back in shape so we're about to get all the hedge trimmers on and uh, get everything ready to go. So there you go. All right, so finished product here. Got it looking 100% better. Lost one bush right here. All this right here was just straight vines. I mean, we were sitting here trimming and I just started grabbing vines out and pulling them off. Uh, we got all the vines off the house all the way around. It looks like a completely, completely different place. I got Dawson on the sprayer there with the Roundup going through, spraying all the vines and uh, the flower beds to keep everything from coming back and uh we're gonna like i said earlier we're gonna come back and maintain this place once a month from here on out and uh, make sure it doesn't get overgrown like it was again uh, we definitely don't want that to happen these bushes right here that are dead looking uh they still have a little bit of green on them right here we got all the vines taken off of them and out of them and uh, like i said we're get we weeded everything and we're gonna let them sit for a little while and see if they come back out and if they don't come back out uh, we'll come up, dig these up, plant something new here, and uh, spruce it up. So that's kind of the game plan for as far as maintaining it and everything. Uh, got some frostbit gardenias right there is what that kind of looks like. 
Uh, I think that's the frostbite gardenia, gardenias is the name of those. They're not actually frostbit or whatever, but um, anyway, got a bunch of rose bushes here. I don't know if you remember, but this right here was completely taken over. Couldn't even see the corner of the house. Couldn't even see anything. Uh, looks like a completely different area now uh, that we got it done. Got it all trimmed up. And we actually went ahead, you saw me mow, and I went ahead and mowed the whole front yard because after we mulched up all the uh, hedge clippings and everything right here, it looked, made the rest of the yard look bad. So we went ahead and mulched it all up and got it all looking good. So there we go, completely different place, completely makeover, got it looking good. Uh, go show you this hydrangea right here. Ended up having to trim this thing up just a little bit. I didn't want to, uh, cause it has all the blooms and everything on it still. Uh, but I didn't trim it up a lot. I just kind of shaped it up, got it off the walls, got it kind of evened out and uh, still looks really, really good. We were able to keep a lot of the blooms and everything. Uh, so good stuff. But anyway, we're about to load up, get on out of here, head to the next job. We got one more hedge job today. And then we're gonna try to mow some grass today too. I don't know. Uh, we've had a lot of rain this morning and last night. So we'll just have to see how it goes and hopefully we can get some yards mowed today i believe we got about 16 left for the week and uh hopefully we'll get it done but we'll just check back with y'all later what's going on guys hunter here with goodman lawn care hope you enjoyed that video there of uh us doing those hedges that was actually filmed about a month ago and uh what was funny about that is that morning i looked back i was watching that video and the editing thing a while ago and i was talking about how it was gonna rain yeah how it rained and you know we didn't know if we'd be able to mow or not man of times changed in a month because it is not rain i think that was the last day it's rained i don't i don't think it's rained since that day i mean it is dry as a bone here and hot man it's not actually not too hot right now it's you know actually decent right now but in the middle of the day it doesn't get below 100 uh for the past for the by at least the past two weeks i can i know it hadn't dropped below 100 uh in the middle of the day and everything it's it's bad hot and dusty uh, and we need a rain bad i think we're, we might be getting a rain uh either sunday or monday uh coming up but i don't know it's it's hard to say because it's only about a 40 or 50 percent chance so hit or miss really uh but anyway hope you all enjoyed that video there uh that was a rough rough job big difference so really really complete makeover it looked like a different house when we left and uh big shout out to all my uh, crew there they did a really really good job on that job and uh you know we they always do a really really good job i don't talk about them a whole lot but i uh, really do appreciate all them uh dawson kj deandre hayden and uh my granddad homer uh call him pop uh another thing about my granddad i don't ever talk about him a whole lot i don't think he really likes to be on camera too much so i don't you know film with him a whole lot but he has never took a cent he has been working with me for six years and day in day out and will not let me pay him and i've tried to pay him i've tried to you know whatever and he won't let me so really really appreciate him helping me every day uh it's very very hot and uh, he rides the mower and weed eats even though we tell him not to weed eat he's not supposed to weed eat but he still opts on the weed eater and tries to weed eat here and there and uh but we have to get on to him about that and everything because he has had some heat strokes in the past and uh definitely 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 don't want him to get too hot uh so we try to keep him on the mower and everything best we can so but really really appreciate him helping me uh i would definitely not be where i am today without him helping me and without him uh you know working with me every day and get me you know where i am today and so my dad also helps me a good bit uh you've seen him in some of my videos and everything he helps me tremendously a lot uh on the field when we're working and also uh you know when i need parts and stuff i call him and say hey dad can you order me this can you order me that and he'll order it for me and uh you know because he's got he has my business card too in his wallet so that way if i need something he can go ahead and get it and uh because sometimes i don't have time to to go do that stuff because we're out i mean we work five six days a week some weeks uh, and we don't get off to about four or five o'clock every day and everything's closed and I don't have time to go get it. So I'll send dad out there to get it. So big shout out to my dad, my granddad for helping me because I promise you guys, it's not just me and I would not be here if it weren't for them, uh, working with me and helping me and guiding me on things to do. Cause you know, I don't, I don't always know what to do. And so, uh, big shout out to them. Appreciate them. And, uh, but appreciate all my workers too, my guys. I got some really, really good workers this year. 
uh, I have good workers every year. I've been very blessed with that, but this year especially, I've had plenty of work, uh, plenty of helpers. Some days we've had too many helpers, and uh, we've had to split up and run two crews and everything, and I'm kind of getting to that point, and uh, really, really appreciate all them helping me uh, day in, day out, and because uh, like I said, it's not just me, it's everybody, it's a team effort, and I uh, really appreciate them. And really appreciate you guys uh, watching and subscribing and liking my videos and everything. Really, really appreciate it. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. I think we're at 774 right now. Uh, doing really, really good. We need to keep that up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a big giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. We're still working on that, still trying to come up with a good idea. I've got a few ideas I'm working on. Uh, and so, drop some comments down below what you thought about this job, what you thought about this, this video and everything. Uh, really appreciate y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, I'll see y'all later.